Alright everyone, a quick update for Caspa here, and Caspa is still looking bullish. Uh, we do not quite have this yet, where we have the huge gap between all the moving averages. And you can see when that was the case, uh, that's when it tends to curl down. So from this high back here, you can see we came all the way back down to the 200 day EMA for support. Uh, could that be in play now? Uh, it very well could, but you can see we're not at that level yet. So I do think there's a bunch of upside still to come before we have that larger retracement back down before we go back up, of course. So from the last update, nothing really has changed. We're still coming down uh, to the 236 here for this uh, 42 level. I, I think that is in play here. So you're looking at another seven, maybe 8% drop on Casper here to 42. And then we'll probably get a nice bounce back to the upside. And then we'll hit these levels at 52, 55, 62. And then you can see once we break over 62, the next stop would be eight. So a lot of upside, I would say, in the near future for Caspa before we get a nice retracement. Uh, in the meantime, we're just going to have these little small retracements and bounces back up, kind of like we did right here. And then we went up, down, and then up. So yeah, that's the update for now. Nothing really has changed. Like I said, it still looks extremely bullish on Caspa. Uh, it is going to make a really good trade in the next bull run here. It's going to make a, tra a good trade in the next uh, couple of months, I would say. It's going to... Uh, probably keep going up and hit 25 cents before the end of the year and potentially higher and then probably one to five dollars or more next bull run I would say on Caspa so Caspa is one of the ones that I'm watching real close that I am invested in and I will keep investing in so every pullback is a chance to get in because we may not get that price ever again so watch 4-2 here if we come back down to 4-2 then you know a little bit uh, discount on Caspa here Hike and Ashi candle is getting a little smaller here, so it may roll over to red for just a moment and come down to 4.2. And like I mentioned in the last update, we could still have a 0.5 retracement here or even a 6.18 retracement here and then still be bullish for a push higher. So any one of these prices could get tagged. But here in the short term, I think 4.2 at, at, at most 3.7 and then it will get a nice bounce back up. So hopefully that helped. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Now financial advice and... Peace out.